Well, the many charities that serve Colorado's homeless are coming together to make sure those on the streets survive our bitter cold. Joel Hillen reports that includes creating warming centers that are open even during the day. Cold temperatures can be dangerous, even deadly overnight in Denver. Folks have set up tents to protect themselves from the cold, but tents and tarps and even sleeping bags are illegal, according to Denver's camping ban, and can be confiscated. We talked with one man who's been living homeless in Denver for the last five years. His advice to folks is, if you can, get inside and seek shelter. Don't get out here because if you don't know what you're doing out here, you will freeze. Vitar von Fracas calls the streets of Denver home, and for him, shelters aren't an option. I have PTSD from being in the military, so I can't go inside. There's too many people around me, you get a little weirded out. So I'm just going to find a place to hunker down. But for others, he warns that even a short amount of time spent in the dangerous cold can cause permanent damage. And a lot of us, we have uh, problems with our fingers now because they're numb and we can't feel nothing. That's because we've gotten frostbite at one time. It might have been a minor frostbite, but you still got it. The cold can be dangerous during the day as well, so Catholic Charities made warming centers available in Fort Collins. In Denver, the St. Francis Center and Denver Rescue Mission can open during the day as well. Just do what you can. That's all there is to it. Just do what you can. In Denver, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First.